Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's... I don't remember how to do my intro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ifea Kimbari here. If this is your first time, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time I upload a video. Follow me on social media as well. It's somewhere on the screen. As you already know by the title, today's video is all about this hair. So if you want to know more about this hair and you want to know how I got to myself looking like a Fulani bride. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How I got these Fulani inspired braids in five minutes. Make sure you just keep watching the video. So this hair was sent to me by Mari Boka. I'm going to leave the name of the company on the screen and in the description box. So I'm just going to tell you guys everything I think you need to know about the hair. So this is what the hair looks like on the mannequin head. As you can see, the lace hasn't been cut off just yet it has some loose hairs by the side to do baby hairs if you want to so i'm just going to show you guys inside so inside you can see the lace front and then it's pretty much like a scalp color also has two elastic bands so that should be pretty secure and then it's like made with a mesh cap and then like single braids so i'm just going to take my tiny scissors and i'm going to cut off the lace I know it's been it's been a hot minute and I've been gone for some time I've been gone for about my last video was in March so we're in June right now so I've been gone for about three months for the past three months I haven't posted any videos on YouTube I haven't like done anything YouTube wise I have even barely watched YouTube videos I feel like I needed to take some time to myself to actually decide you know what I wanted to do YouTube wise because like I just started this a few months ago it's not it's not been up to a year since I started this and I feel like sometimes when you start something you have these like huge goals and then you have these huge like ideas and you have all these things that you really want to accomplish which is great and which is perfect which is fine but you're so excited in the early stages of a project you're doing that you forget that growth takes some time like growth doesn't happen overnight and i think that is what i that is what i was battling with i was battling with the fact that growth doesn't take over overnight so i started feeling really unmotivated about youtube and feeling unmotivated about filming videos and, and even the videos i was filming they wouldn't turn out the way i wanted them to turn out so i was like giving up slowly you know yes, this is why you have like great friends and great people around you to always remind you of the reason why you started a project so to always remind you of the reason why you are doing what you're doing because at the end of the day like it's so easy to feel unmotivated and it's so easy to want to give up when things are not exactly the way you want them to be you know i don't know like leave a comment down below you guys if you guys also battle with feeling unmotivated if you battle with finding a balance sometimes within something you're passionate about and waiting for that growth because i feel like i was really battling with that and it was really getting to me so when i started feeling really unhappy in that youtube space i saw that it started affecting like different parts of my life so i felt like i needed to take a break from everything so i could be okay and refocus my energy to like going to the gym and other things that made me happy but now i think i'm now i think i'm back at a space where you know i want to continue doing this and i just want to you know have fun and see what youtube brings my way I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's so hard when you are really excited and motivated about something but it's not going the way you want it to go. I'm just going to loosen up these baby hairs and see what that is about. I'm going to leave the name of the company I got this hair from down below. I'm going to leave their Instagram down below. The great thing about this hair is you can customize this 100%. So if you don't want this exact style, or if you don't want the exact style they have available, you can always bring like a picture or your own style and you can always 
change the color as well so i saw this in the black actually and i was like hmm, i don't want black braids i want a different color so i asked for 27 and 33 which is what i currently have on right now so i'm not really a big fan of baby hairs because they look unrealistic to me so i'm just going to shave this off with my scissors on the side so I've cut off the baby hairs so far. <laughs> I've cut off the braid on the side. So I'm going to do the same thing to the second one as well. So they also have the option of taking this off. Like if you don't want baby hairs or if you do want baby hairs, you can request for them to be taken off or to be left on. She just realized the band at the back is actually adjustable. So it's an adjustable strap. So I was feeling like this was too loose for my head, but the band is actually adjustable. So you can actually pull wild. Wow. I've never seen this even on braids before. Actually tightening up on your head. I just did that to mine. So I'm definitely not going to be using like got to be anything on this right now because the band at the back is actually thick and pretty secure. As you can see fully on this side, I have fully cut off all the lace on this side. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this other side. And if you guys look at this hair properly, like, I wish I could come closer. If you take a proper look at this hair, you can actually see that the braids are neat. Like, I feel like I went to a Nigeria salon, or a, I went to a salon in Nigeria mm -hmm. rather. Hair braided by all these Cotonou people. The quality of the hair is amazing. It's neat, it's perfect. You don't even see any flyaways. It's properly trimmed, <laughs> that's what. So I'm going to ask you guys, how do you deal with feeling, the feeling of being unmotivated or like how do you deal with not giving up on your passion or not giving up on your dreams, especially when it's not where you want it to be? Please leave a comment down below because I would like to know. Like I think one thing that I constantly told myself and you know whoever it was I was talking to about feeling unmotivated was like I'm the one that knows if it's something I want to keep doing. I'm the one that knows if if I want to give up. I'm the one that knows like what I'm getting out of it, you know. So if it's completely worth it to me, then keep going. If it's not worth it, then maybe I should give it up. So to finish up and make it look perfect, I'm going to take my edge control. It's this one. I'm just going to use it to slick down the braid in front and in case there's any like flyaways or anything from my own as well just take a hairbrush and brush it down so i'm just going to tell you guys like a few more details about the company and the hair so they're based in canada um they offer worldwide shipping which is perfect you can get this hair delivered to you anywhere you are in the world they do take custom orders like i said before i'm going to leave the link down in the description box to their instagram page i'm also going to leave the name to the company on the screen obviously prices of the weeks depend on the length and the delivery locations so this for me is like right at my waist ish about 18 inches in total this would have cost me 195 dollars I think that's a pretty good price because if I was to go to a salon here and ask them to do this for me <laughs> yeah we all know how much I would be paying like I would definitely be paying over 195 because I'll have to buy the don't forget you have to buy the attachment as well then they will now come and tell me they're charging me extra because my hair is natural like all these <laughs> you know all these things that all these hair braiders say so I think 195 is a pretty good Price, to get a braids wig made and to have it shipped to your location as well the only thing I would say is this is the first time I went it so all the edges right here are still kind of hard so I feel like after a few wears the hair would become soft and it's just going to lay down perfectly so yeah I really like this hair I like the style and I like the color I chose look at this hair you can tell it's full it's not scanty it's actually good quality so I definitely feel like it is worth the money and the braids are so neat. There isn't a single hair out of place. Like, I don't even need to trim or anything. 
let's see you guys um i know i spoke like about feeling unmotivated and why i have been gone for so long in case you missed it i have been gone for so long because i was going through a phase where i was feeling super unmotivated about youtube and different things in life as well and you know this was beginning to become a source of unhappiness for me so, so i just fell into i slipped into it <laughs> and i ended up taking a three month break a much longer break than i would have ever imagined that i would have taken but i'm glad i took it because i feel like now i'm ready and i found a good balance and i'm just ready to like create and do this because at the end of the day like i like this and it's fun to me so i'm going to try to become more consistent on youtube shout out to all my friends and everybody that asked me where i have been for the past three months i have just been chilling guys i've been taking a well-deserved little if a break and if you guys have any video requests or any videos you would like to see leave a comment down below as well like videos you guys would like to see this summer what videos you guys would like to see from me anyone you would like me to collaborate with as well just you know leave it down in the comment section below thank you so much for reaching out to me thank you so much for staying subscribed thank you so much for watching my videos it means the world to me just hope this is the last of the breaks that we get from a fair because i am so excited coming up with new ideas i'm, I'm overly excited leave a comment down below make sure you tell me what strategies you use whenever you feel unmotivated to continue something you're passionate about guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this beautiful face make sure you give it a thumbs up as well i'll see you guys in my next video bye